What's up everybody, so today we'll be learning how to make a simple footer in React. This is a quick demo of what we'll be making right here. It'll have three columns and the bottom part as well, so that'll be for uh, rights, terms of service, privacy, stuff like that. Uh, we will be using the nav bar I made a couple videos ago, so just get clone that. The link of that is in the description below, as is uh, the link to the tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to make a couple of assumptions that you've already cloned the project or you followed the tutorial in the description below um, and you've also NPMI'd and start up the application. Now when you start up the application you're going to see this and what we're going to do is we're going to add the footer right down here to this. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new file in our components folder. So I'll call it footer.js and I'll create a new CSS file for that footer. So I'll just do footer.css. And I'll copy over the code from our features tab, or features file, into our footers.js. And we'll just get rid of this and we'll just rename it footer. Save that. And let's connect it in our app.js. So right underneath here, we'll put footer and we also import it so we'll do import footer from dot slash component slash footer and let's save that let's see if that shows what we want to see nice all right so in our app.js i'm going to change the name of this class name app to be page container and i'm going to make another div and i'm going to call it give a class name of content wrap. Now this is just for the CSS for our nav bar, sorry, our footer. So I'm just gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna put it right above our footer, save that. Make sure everything's working, cool. All right, so let's go back into our footer.js file and I'm gonna edit our class name app to be main footer. And I'm gonna create another div inside of here and I'll give it a class name of container and inside of here I'll make another div called row Oops. there we go and I'm just going to get rid of this save it nothing should appear which is fine now we're going to create three columns with equal distance between each other inside of our row so I'm just going to do column one, comment that out. Column two, comment that out. And column three. Man, I just misspelled three times, didn't I? Okay, column three. So in column one, what we're gonna do is a div, and I'm gonna give it a class name of call for column, and I'll give it an H4, so company name, I'll just do Thick Memes Inc. And inside of here, we will do a, a UL. And I'll give it a class name equal to list. Oops, this unstyled. And I'll do an LI. Copy this and paste it a couple times. And let's see, we need a number. So let's do that, th this. That's a good number right there. Cool. And now we need a location. So let's go with Moscow, Russia. And we need an address. So we'll go with uh, 123 Street South North. Yes. Now I'm just going to do the exact same thing for our last two columns. So I'm going to make another div. And I'm going to give it a class name of row and inside of here oh, not row whoops column and inside of here I'm going to make an h4 that will just say stuff and we'll do another ul and I'll give it the class name of list unstyled and same thing in here I'll just make a couple list tags that's good I'll um, just go with dank memes. Other stuff. 
good stuff. Save that. Now we can see that we have sort of a structure, so let's put our last column. I'll just copy this and paste it in here so we don't have to type it all up again. And let's re-edit this and let's do like, um, well, another column. And let's just change this a bit. This makes no sense, but okay, let's save it. And now you can see that we have a good structure. We have three columns inside of this row. All right, so now we're gonna make the bottom part of our footer is gonna be where the all rights reserved, terms of service, privacy, stuff like that is gonna be. So right underneath our row div right here, we are going to make another div with class name of row. And we're gonna make a p tag. And I'll give it a, whoops, a class name of call small. And so here we're gonna make that at, at symbol that you would see with you have at company name 2020. So that's gonna be simply and copy semicolon curly braces new date dot get full whoops get full year and we'll do thick memes ink that long L all rights reserved reserved and we'll do terms of service even though we don't have any in this case if you had some you just put an anchor tag there but I'm just gonna leave it as is and privacy save that see how that looks that looks pretty good pretty good uh, let's put a horizontal line right here so that we have some sort of separation happening nice Huh, so this is actually really ugly. So let's add some background color and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make this browser a lot smaller so we have a little bit more room to work with. So inside of here, I'm gonna do class name main footer and I'm gonna do color for the font. I'll do white, background, oops. Background color, let's see what background color this is. Inspect it. And this is a, what color are we cooking with here? Ah, here it is, DC 3535. And we're gonna do a padding top, let's do 3EM. Position, we'll do relative. And bottom zero, width, 100%. Save that and see how that looks now. If it even targeted it properly. Let's see, did I even import? I did not even import the CSS file. So let's import that right now. Import dot slash footer dot CSS. Save that. Now it should look a lot better. Cool, that looks better, but it's still not footing. It's at the head. We need it to foot. So to actually make it push to the very bottom and not glitch on top of any content whatsoever, we put every single thing in a page container and then put it in a content wrap div. So let's go in our app.css where we are going to use Flexbox to put the footer at the place that we want it to be. So let's do dot page container and we'll do display flex flex direction column and min oops min height let's do 100 vh and we'll also do content wrap and i'll do flex one save that now show push at the very bottom nice and if we go to any other route to see that it works properly all right so let's put this to the test so in our feature.js, I'm going to copy this h1 and paste it a whole bunch of times. And I'm going to save it. And let's see if it pushes it down. Perfectly fine. Nice. And now let's see if any content is hidden underneath our navbar. So if I click this, we'll see that's the very bottom. And it works. Everything is responsive like you want it to be. If I make it bigger, we'll see that it's properly responding to the size of the browser. If I make it smaller, 
it's looking good it's looking real good all right hopefully y'all enjoyed this tutorial if y'all have any suggestions of any tutorials that you would want to see in the future leave it in the comments down below and i'll see if i can get to it other than that like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one